Hey, Boris, you all right? I'm good. How are you? What's been on your mind today? Uh, well, I can't hide it from you. I've been thinking a bit about this general election campaign. And how do you typically start your day? I tend to get up pretty early and then I go down and uh, take the dog for a walk and the dog does his business and so on and so forth. That's, that's, that's my start to the day. And what's the most surprising thing you found about being PM? I was pretty incredulous the other day when I, I found out I couldn't actually get a, uh, a Thai curry and to deliver to number 10 because of the, of the security problems. The security there was too tight. And on that subject, fish and chips or a Sunday roast? I think uh, fish and chips on a, on a cold night on a beach, you can't beat it. Why are we having this election? We're having this election because basically uh, the whole political system is paralysed and we have a fantastic Brexit deal that we did. Nobody said we could do it, but we did. And then Parliament uh, refused to... Uh, to knock it through so that uh, we're, we're stuck in the, in the EU when we, the people voted to leave. So we need to have an election. This one divides opinion, but Marmite, yes or no? Uh, Marmite, yes. What do you think are the biggest challenges facing our country? Look, look the, this is an amazing country. It's going gangbusters in so many ways. We lead the world in so many technologies, but our political system is, is blocked at the moment. And that's the, the thing that we need to address. We need to have, get a, a, a new government, a new uh, majority government, and uh, I hope a conservative government, and move this thing on. Now, I know you're a very busy man, but when, did, when was the last time you cooked and, and what did you make? Uh, how are you? Nice to see you. Uh, the last time I cooked was uh, last night, and I made steak and oven chips, which were very good. Uh, what's your favourite band? Uh, look, this is either this is either the Clash or it's um, the Rolling Stones, and uh, mainly I listen to the Rolling Stones nowadays. So you can you can make of that what you what you will. What would you say to someone who's wondering who to vote for at this election? Look, I would say it is a very very simple choice. Uh, you can either go with. Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party, and be in no doubt that if you vote for any other of the minor parties, you will end up with a coalition of chaos uh, with Jeremy Corbyn at the lead, uh, at the head. And that will not only be an economic catastrophe for this country, it will also be a political uh, disaster. Because their programme, would you believe it, is for another Brexit referendum, another referendum next year, spend the whole of the next year in a referendum on Brexit, a referendum on Scotland, to say nothing of the economic uh, catastrophe involved in a, in a Corbyn-led socialist, uh, semi-Marxist Labour government. Or you can go with us, uh, get Brexit done uh, with our deal, which is ready to go, oven ready, slam it in the microwave, it's there. Do it, get it done in days uh, and take the country forward we're investing massively in the NHS, the biggest investment for a generation, massively in schools, in policing, 20,000 uh, police we're putting out on the streets of this country. We're going to be doing a huge infrastructure revolution for the whole of the UK, gigabit broadband across the whole of the UK. And we can pay for all that because we're the party that understands the importance of a dynamic market economy. So that's my message. Vote for us. Vote for a compassionate, one-nation, conservative government that understands the symmetry between a free market economy and great, great public services. Let's get Brexit done and unleash the potential of this whole country. See you later.